Wendy here. I hope you've all had a lovely weekend and you're feeling fresh on this Monday and you've had a nice relaxing break from some remote learning. Um, today in Reading Schools we are going to be getting a new text but before we even start I'd like you to press pause and write today's short date and vipers and making sure you put a circle around to the R today as our fo focus is retrieved. Okay, so before we start, we're going to do a quick recap of what the VIPERS stand for. We have V for vocabulary, I for infer, T for predict, E for explain, R for retrieve, and S for summarise. And today's focus, as I said, is retrieve. Now, ret retrieve means to retrieve and record information and identify key details from fiction and non-fiction. So basically, retrieving information from a text means the information is going to be in the text and you're going to be able to take the answers straight from the text in front of you. Okay, so it's not giving you clues or hints, the answer is there. So our new text is How to Invent and it's written by Lynn Huggins Cooper. And it says here, could your idea be the next big thing? And I just want you to have a little think. Do you think this book is in fiction or non-fiction? And why do you think that? Now, I think this book is non-fiction. Now, the reason why I think it is non-fiction is because the title is How to Invent. So I feel like that's going to give me maybe some instructions or steps because I'm looking at how to wash a woolly mammoth when we did instructions before. Um, I'm also looking at the images around um, as the TV and the camera and the mobile phone and the bicycle and watch. And I'm thinking, actually, is it going to be a how to invent those things or how those things were invented? And this fact that it says here, could your idea be the next big thing? Is it going to help me become an inventor? Let's find out. So before we move on to retrieving, we are going to start with some predictions. Okay, so predictions, remember, are um, where we make a good guess based on the clues that we are given. So here, I'll get rid of the ellipses, I've got a sentence starter, there might be, so I've added to this, saying there might be information about how to invent a bike. Now the reason I think that is because there's a picture of a bike here on the front cover. Okay, so that is a sentence there that I'd like you to try and write. Just one moment. Oh, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> there we go, that's better. Um, so we have, there might be. So what do you think there might be in this text? I wonder if there will be. What do you wonder there will be in this text? Use the clues on the front to help you. Okay. Perhaps I will see. Now what do you think you might see? when reading this text. And finally, I think I will see. So I'd like you to press pause and have a go at finishing those sentence starters for me. Okay, let's find read a little bit more. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we're going to read the blurb now. The blurb is something we can find on the back of a book normally and it gives you enough information to make you want to read the book without um, telling you too much. Okay, so it makes you want to find out more. You want to be like, oh, I want, I want to know what happens. Okay, so we have Be Inspired by Incredible Inventions from the Rubik's Cube to the Xbox Connect. From brainstorming to branding, discover how to make your invention a reality with a step-by-step -step guide. Now, I'm just over here we have vocabulary, so I just want to um, draw your attention to some of the key vocabulary in the blurb. So we have inspired, so that means to fill people with the urge to do something creative. Then we have incredible. So incredible means they're so amazing that they're that it's, it's difficult to believe. It's almost too good to be true. Incredible. Brainstorming. So brainstorming is thinking of lots of different ideas to solve a problem. And um, we do this in class sometimes. Do you know when on the flip chart 
we'll put something in the middle and then we'll do lots of lines off it and mind map our ideas as a class. We come up with lots of ideas. That's brainstorming. And finally, we have branding. Now, branding is when we have an image, which is called a logo, or a slogan used to sell a product. So, for example, Tesco's is Every Little Helps, and Nike, so Nike has a swoosh as their logo. So that's the branding of a product or a brand. So we've had a little look at the blurb, we've had a little look at the front cover, and made some predictions. And I just want you to have a little think, what inventions might appear in this book? Or maybe even what inventions would you like to see in this book? What do you want to know about? So we're gonna read pages four and five. Now I can understand this is quite blurred and on the next couple of pages I have tried to make it clearer, but I've also um, sent it as an attachment, um, the, this text so you can see it clearer and open it separately if you need to. And um, so, you, so you want to invent. Now I'm going to skip pages so it's easier for me to read as well in just a moment, but I just wanted to point out the flow chart. So the way the page is laid out, we have um, information in boxes and it tells you which box to read by pointing you in that direction. Okay, can you see the arrows? And then we have photographs um, as well to go with and um, captions to go with it. Okay, so let's get started with the reading. Page four. So you want to invent. Look around you and you can see inventions everywhere. Inventing happens when somebody sees a problem and invents something to fix it. What do you think an inventor looks like? Do you think of a wacky looking man with mad hair and thick glasses? Think again. Inventors are ordinary people just like you. You have probably invented things already. Have you ever built anything or created your own games? That's inventing. Have you ever changed something to make it work better? Maybe part of your bike? That's inventing. Now my arrow takes me up here to this photograph. An old bottle might provide a perfect solution to a problem. Have you ever puzzled over a problem and thought of a way to solve it? That's inventing. Look at this image. These toys cards have been made out of soft drink cans. Have you ever used something old and broken to make something new? That's inventing too. Have you ever thought of a new way to use an object? That's also inventing. This book is full of inventors who have created whole new objects, improved existing ones, or found new and innovative ways to use old objects and used materials. Can you do the same? Those, these low carbon charcoal fuel discs were invented by Kenyan teenagers. They are made from recycled waste. That's a real mouthful. Low carbon charcoal fuel discs. Okay, so this that was page four and five. And today we're going to answer these retrieval questions. Now here it says, according to the text. Now that's a huge clue that we're going to find the answer in the text. That's exactly what it means. So it means you're going to find it and copy it. Okay, so. The answers are on page four and five, and they are available as a um, file, so you can open them up that way if you want to. Um, but we are going to look at them. So you have question number one, when does inventing happen? I'm going to through and find it. Question number two, what do inventors look like? Question number three, what have the toy cars been made out of? What have the toy cars been made out of? Question number four, who invented the low carbon charcoal discs? Question number five, 
the one Miss Henley found really tricky to say a minute ago. <laughs> so who invented the low carbon charcoal disc? And finally, what were the used plastic used plastic bottles protecting? What were the used plastic bottles protecting? What were the used plastic bottles protecting? Okay, and once you have completed those questions, you can get your pen and we will go through the answers. Are you ready? Okay, so question number one, when does inventing happen? So on question page four, it says when some, inventing happens is when somebody, oh, it's not typing, sorry. When somebody, a problem. Okay. And question number two, what do inventors look like? Now inventors look like ordinary people and I will accept as well just like you. Question number three, what have the toy cars been made out of? So we moved on to question page five now. And the toy cars have been made out of soft drink cans. And we found that out on the caption of the picture. Question number four, who invented the low carbon charcoal discs? And that was Kenyan teenagers. Oh, it doesn't fit there. Okay, there you go. And finally, what were the used plastic bottles protecting? And they were protecting plants. And we could only see that through the photograph. Um, so we could assume that it was protecting the plants by helping them in the direction that they grew, so keeping the stem up, making links to our science, or it could be to protect them from bugs. It doesn't give any more information, but we can see in the picture that there's plants in the bottles. Okay, and now we're going to move on to our final activity. And I just want you to have a look at the page, okay? And I want you to think about what layout features you can see, okay? So what things can you notice on that page um, that quite specific to a non-fiction text, really, to help you lay out the page? So, for example, I spoke about one earlier, and I said about the arrows um, of the flow chart to tell you which direction to read the paragraph in. What else do you notice? Let's pause. Okay, so thank you very much, Year 3. Um, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Um, take care. Bye.